Hello everyone, Kim Lantis with Dojo Live here at GBTA 2024 with Todd Arthur of Sabre. Todd, you are, and this is a long one, the Senior Vice President, North America Agency, America's Delivery and Global Corporate Solutions. Ooh, yes. Of, tra of Sabre Travel Solutions. But in a nutshell, Todd, first of all, thank you for joining us. What does that mean? Let's talk about your role a little bit. Well, thank you. <laughs> what it means is I'm responsible for the agency business in North America for Sabre, which I'm really excited about. I have an amazing team. I also have our delivery and our product and technology teams for the Americas. And then I also run a corporate booking tool called Get There Globally. Uh -huh. So, right. hence the long title, but ultimately my most of my focus is on North America. A long title for a lot of responsibilities. <laughs> Before we dive into what Saber's up to here at GBTA, I would like to get to know you a bit more. If you could share a bit about your story, your experience, your passion for travel with our audience. Sure. Well, I am. a lot of people are passionate about this industry uh, for a variety of reasons. I'm passionate about it. I happen to be raised in Asia and uh, Kid, as a young kid, we lived in the Philippines and Hong Kong, lived in China, so lived in many places. And that was a kind of seeded this desire to travel and more to see the world. And more about seeing the world, it really is really about meeting great people. And that is the best thing I love about travel is the interaction like the Dalai Lama? I did meet the Dalai Lama. <laughs> I've, uh, I've met a few people along the way, and some of those are just seizing the moment, being at the right place at the right time. I met the Dalai Lama in Delhi, India, and I asked for a selfie, and then my hand was shaking. I was so nervous. The Dalai Lama kept getting closer and closer, so if you can see the picture, it looks like he's photobombing me. I, I can't even imagine, because I'm a nervous you're speaking with Todd Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so last week, Sabre announced something big with Air Canada that is the full content via NDC. I want to talk about that a little bit. Before we do... But before we do, I need you to break down NDC for dummies. Yes. Well, first of all, NDC has been around for a long time. It stands for New Distribution Capabilities, and it means a lot of different things to a lot of people. <laughs> so if you want the... Like AI. AI. Exactly. What does that mean? Right? <laughs> and the, the, the reality is NDC is a journey. It's really a, just another source of content that is, uh, is available to consumers, to corporations, to travelers. At some stage in the future, it will provide capabilities of personalization that will drastically change the way we travel today. But as of right now, it's just another content source. All right, It's a way it. to simplify it. <laughs> okay, that's, that's simple. That's NDC for dummies. I love it. So let's talk a little bit about Sabre then in the NDC environment. How are you helping companies like Air Canada? I understand that you're doing uh, aggregation, you're doing the IT side, but what does that relationship with Sabre and NDC look like? Sure. Um, well, our NDC journey has started many years ago and has involved a lot of work, a lot of collaboration between teams, as well as our partners. So whether airline partners or agency partners in bringing NDC uh, to the marketplace. And I'll give an analogy. It's a little bit like and you're too young for this, but there used to be these things called paper tickets. Are you sure? Uh, Thank you. I'm 42. I remember paper tickets. Okay. Well, if you remember, you know, everybody, in the, there was a day that you had to go to the airport with a, a ticket in hand. If you lost that ticket, it was valuable, right? It was mm -hmm. like, it was, it was a problem. And then over a period of time, we went to electronic boarding passes and tickets. Um, and I liken the change from our current environment to the NDC environment to this same journey of going from paper tickets to okay. electronic tickets. It didn't happen overnight. It happened actually over, I think, a 12 or 13 year period. So um, NDC has been around for actually quite some time and we're going to continue to see the value that it brings. So you asked the question, well, what is that Sabre has done? So we started on our journey. Now thankful to say we have over 20 airlines who are NDC enabled, and that has taken a lot of work. And Air Canada just went live last week, so full capability with uh, servicing. So it's not just booking a ticket, wow. getting an offer and order, but also servicing and corporate travel. Servicing is really important, right? More than 50% of tickets are changed uh, in corporate travel. Uh, so we've done that with Air Canada and with another 20 airlines or so. And by the end of the year, I believe we will be at 35 airlines 
live on NBC. So we're really excited wow. about the progress that we, we have made. Congratulations. So thank you so much. And again, I think the, the journey will be at some stage, the capabilities of personalization will be really fantastic and will be something that at this stage right now is just another source of content. All so. right. Anything else that you're showcasing here at GBTA? Yes, we're really excited uh, about many things. Uh, one of those are in 2012, I'm sorry, in 2020, we signed good a year. Yeah, good year. Yeah, it's a very good <laughs> year. I think we all know something happened in 2020. So just before uh, that big event that happened in March of 2020, we signed a long-term partnership with Google to do a couple of things. One was to move to Google Cloud, which we're really excited now. We're, we're fully in Google Cloud. The other thing was to innovate together with Google as a partner and build products and solutions for the industry that will bring value, that will create efficiency, that will improve the user experience, that will improve operational efficiencies for our agency partners and for their customers, the end consumers. So we're really excited. We're showcasing a lot of what we're doing with on our AI journey with Google, and we're really excited to share more at some stage with your uh, viewers. I love that, I love that. You know, it's clear that partnerships are really important to companies like Sabre, partnerships with other companies like Google. How do you go about leveraging their technologies, their AI, their machine learning? Like what, why is that the move? And maybe what advice might you have for tech companies that want to follow suit? Sure, well, one of the things, if you think about what Google does really well, I think they have seven or eight products that has two billion users or more. And they're the world's best at taking data and mm -hmm. turning that into something meaningful, right? And if you think about it, Sabre, we sit on a lot of data. We Every time that you search from point A to point B, from Mexico City to Dallas, or from Honolulu to Los Angeles, that request hits our system. And so what Google wanted to do in conjunction with us is how do we take this and do something with it and be able to improve the traveler ecosystem. And so those are some of the things that we're doing with ML and AI with uh, with Google, is sitting using this data to be able to help improve. How can uh, Todd Arthur have a better user experience, right? Because they have a lot of data on me, but you have to take that data and or that data and turn that into something meaningful. So we're really excited about our journey with Google and the partnership we have there. And also that. the partnership with our agency partners in the yeah. community. I love that. So let's talk about a technology gap. Now, you the data is there. Maybe it's the access to the data or what to do with the data. That's the current gap. But what is another technology gap that you've identified in the industry uh, that should probably be prioritized in order to make a better business travel experience? Sure. Coming out of the pandemic, one of the things uh, that we've noticed is that you need to be able to grow the business without growing your cost basis. Right? And so you really need operational efficiency in order to really be able to have a successful business. Mm -hmm. um, and so one of the things is that I've seen is agencies that have not implemented technology and operational efficiencies into their, into their business. And that's one of the reasons why we've had a lot of success in converting business to Sabre mm -hmm. because we are bringing value and operational efficiencies through our technology and solutions that we bring. So to answer your question, it is operational efficiency technology that drives the best in class experience for their, their team members, for their, for their employees, as well as for the end user, for the consumer. Yeah, and closing that gap of the, the scary, like we saw in the main stage today with the, the AI guys. Yeah. Get used well, to it, play with it. It's not so scary. Come on, we can do this. Yeah, right? exactly. And, you know, the, the, one of the things that we've done after the pandemic, you know, people didn't have you know, limited resources for financial constraint. Yep. Um, and so we're really thankful that we are contributing to a healthier industry through the solutions and technology that we're bringing. And, and right, we're on the forefront of what's happening in AI and it's super, super exciting. I love that, I love that. So my final question for you, forefront future, what would you say or how would you wrap up the future of business travel in one word? Innovation. Innovation, all right. Would innovation. you like to elaborate? Well, just without innovation, we're not going to be successful. We have to continue to innovate in the speed and the pace of innovation is extraordinary. So I'm so thankful to work for a company like Sabre who has cast the vision 
for innovation and has a partnership like Google, like a lot of our agency partners in really driving change in our ecosystem and being passionate about our ecosystem, a healthier industry is a good industry to be working in. Love it. Well, Todd, thank you so much for your time today. It's a pleasure to get to meet you Likewise. to learn more about what Saver is up to here at GBTA 2024. We'd love to have you back on the live show at another time. Until then, um, how might people get a hold of you if they'd like to get to know you better or know more about what Saber is up to? Sure. Saber.com is a lot of information there. And if they want to connect with me, Todd.Arthur at Saber.com is my email address. I would love to hear from you. All right. Love it. Thank you. And have a great rest of the conference. Thank you so much. Bye for now. Bye.